Hey everybody, welcome to today I work on, you know, yesterday I installed the beat steering wheel, the aftermarket steering wheel, and I totally forgot we bought a boat steering wheel. So it's way, it's the same, uh, you know, it's a little bit bigger than the old cruiser's yacht steering wheel. I have no idea if this is going to work. So I'm going to video this, let's see, I'm going to take off the old steering wheel and see if this new steering wheel fits. I hope it does. It's way nicer than this old steering wheel. So let's start working on this. All right, I hope you enjoy my first person view. I think it's the best view for this uh, install. So I think first things first, I think we're going to use some Allen wrenches here. Let's see. And all right, well, silly me. It just pops right off. And this looks like the steering wheel is going to work. Can you see in there? That's a pretty big bolt. So let me see how big this bolt's going to be. So don't uh, even bother with the using, they're just for show. <laughs> so that's really easy. It's just use a screwdriver, pop it off. It's just like the Honda Beat. So let me, uh, let me see how big this bolt, this uh, nut is. All right, well, need a 15 16th. I had to borrow from the mechanic. So let's see if this, oh, wow. All right, this is not even on here. All right, so this is, uh, this comes off super easy. Huh. All right, so that's the nut. There's a little washer on the end, interesting. All right, now let's pick, take this wheel off. <clears throat> Oh, that's definitely gonna work. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. I don't check tap it. There's nothing really holding it. Ugh. All right, that's it. Off. So now we're gonna put the new steering wheel on. This is a super easy install. And we're going to pop this bad boy on. I, you see it as a key right here. So I guess you got to follow the key like so. It's maybe not that one. Are they all different? Oh, yeah. All right. So that's that's it. All right. Now we're going to put the bolt back on. So you know what, let me measure this for you so you know what it is. All right, so this is the, the spline. The, in, the spline here is about one inch, five eighths of an inch. So that is, yeah, it's a little bit more. It's like five eighths full. It's almost three quarters of an inch. And then I'm just gonna go with the middle spline. They all look the same to me. But let's just go with the middle spline. The key. That feels good. So that's it. We'll put the bolt back on. It's right here. And that, why didn't I do this earlier? That's what I want to know. So you need a 15 16 for cruisers. I guarantee you, most of them are all the same. I don't know how tight I should make this. Feels feels good. All right, I'm not going anymore. So that's tight. Feels good. And now, last step is we'll put the new cover on. So let me let me go back up with this. Okay. And then this will go like so. And I'm assuming this gets. Now this was an eBay wheel, I'll put up the link on it, but super easy, super easy install. Don't, don't lose that. And remember, like I tell you all the time, do not tighten up, do one screw at a time, do not over tighten. Let's get this one. And let's figure out what Key we're gonna use. You like the new steering wheel? 
Oh, there you go. It's a uh, 530 seconds on this Bennington. It's a Bennington steering wheel. It tastes like, it smells like something. All right, so that's, that's done. Let me uh, recap the uh, steering wheel. All right, so there you have it. The steering wheel is done. No joke. It took me two minutes. Two minute install. It's easier than working on a car uh, steering wheel because there's no horn. And it's just a 15 16 socket. You need like a medium size or an extended socket, and then maybe a little extension on your. You have to go with half inch because it's a pretty big bolt. And then that's it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And we're uh, we have a nice fancy new steering wheel. I'll put up the link in the co in the description on where I got the steering wheel, and it's it's really nice. So that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I have a lot of boat videos coming because I'm going to be winterizing and I'm going to really get into detail in 4K on how to winterize a boat properly. So again, thanks for watching. If you like these videos, please like them. If you want to watch more videos, please subscribe. So take care.